Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which I will be painting an Astra Militarum Cadian Shock Trooper. Um, I'm sorry my voice is a bit off, I have a sore throat. As usual I start off with a base coat of, of Chaos Black through a rattle can, which you can use any type of base coat you actually like, it doesn't really matter. And then through an airbrush I paint the entire model with earth. Um, I do this through the airbrush just to save some time, you can do this with a regular brush as well if you want to. Probably would require two or two or maybe three coats. Next, I take yellow olive and I block in all the armor parts and the casing for the for the flashlight. And uh, once that's dry, I take Agrax Earthshade and just wash the entire model. Um, I am not too liberal with it. Um, I make sure it's on there, but uh, that there's not uh, no huge pools on the model. Once the Agrox Earthshade has dried, I use 10 and I block in all the skin on the model. Then I take Anthracite Grey and I paint the boots. And using metallic black, I paint the metal parts on the, on the weapon and the emblem on the helmet. Next, using Reikland flesh shade, I wash all the skin parts just to get the uh, shading in there. And then I use non oil and I wash the boots and the metal parts with the non oil. Next is back to earth and I'm going to apply a highlight to all the cloth parts. I make sure I don't completely cover everything up. Uh, I leave the bits of the earth shade visible in deep recesses and a little bit of the first coat of earth also uh, to create a little bit of a transition. And then it's back to yellow olive and I highlight all the green parts with the pure yellow olive. Next I highlight all metal parts using gun metal and again this all goes following the same principle of just staying away from deep recesses, building up a little bit of the color towards the light, towards the outside of the parts you're painting. Next I used anthracite grey again and um, I highlighted the boots again, uh, same method is used, stay away from the deepest recesses, leave a little bit of that non-oil and the first coat of um, anthracite grey visible and just build it up a little bit. And then I made a mixture of four parts tan and one part white and this is used to highlight the, the skin. 
if you don't want to spend too much time on your models, you just want them uh, to look uh, well, nice on the table and play with them, um, you can just stop right here and leave it at this. Base the models, finish them off, uh, seal them if you're using some varnish, base them, paint the rim, and be done with it. Um, Therefore, I chose this method for this tutorial. Probably I will just build up one part and go to the next part. So now I basically painted the model, in my opinion, basic tabletop. And now we're going to continue and make it um, like a usual tutorial. So um, the 4 to 1 mixture of 10 and white, uh, one part white is added. And I'm going to reinforce the previous highlights. I then add another part white and I continue building the color up. Um, I make sure there's constantly little bits of the previous layers visible so that we get some nice transitions on all the, all the parts we want to have some highlights on. And then it's back to the boots and I make a mixture of three parts androcyte gray and one part white. And the same procedure, I just highlight the, the previous layer up a little bit, um, especially as far as the boots go. I don't really put too much effort into them, but this has to do with uh, um, some weathering powder later on and uh, the, the basing. So next is onto silver and just uh, highlight, put a little extra highlight uh, on all the metallic parts. Just stay on the outside really strengthen that color up a bit. Next I made a mixture of four parts yellow olive and two parts camouflage green and I started highlighting all the armor panels again. I'm working towards the outside, towards the light, leaving parts of these previous layers as explained before visible, just gradually building the color up. For the next highlight, I added two parts camouflage green to this picture, and I just continued what I was doing in the previous layer. And the further I now go towards the inside of the model, the more the layer will turn into a, a soft edge highlight, so that I can just finish it off with a final edge highlight in, uh, in the next layer. So for the edge highlight, I add two parts white to the mixture and um, I paint in an edge highlight on the most visible parts. Uh, you don't need to go all the way to the inside of, uh, for, or for example, the armor panel on the, on the boot. On, uh, for example, the shoulder pad, you don't need to go all the way down. That's, uh, the highlight wouldn't be there, so we're not going to paint it. As far as edge highlighting goes, if you're not comfortable using the tip of your brush, uh, like you see me do, use the side of the brush on the flatter areas where you can easily reach it with the side of your brush. So onto the cloth, uh, I made a mixture of four parts earth and two parts khaki, and now I start building this color up. And as you can see, I prefer to use a manner where I drag the paint towards the area that needs where the actual final highlight will be on and just build it up in a couple of strokes um, if you want to repeat this process make sure the previous uh, layer is dry otherwise you're gonna uh, pull it apart because uh, you, you'll damage the paint job because it's not fully dried by adding two parts khaki to this 42 mixture I start reinforcing the previous layer um, again following all those same principles of uh, leaving a little bit of the previous layer visible, 
going further towards the outside of the model, starting further towards the outside of the model, and just in that way having the light come from the outside of the model and the shading is more on the inside of the model. And to finish the cloth off I add two parts white to the mixture and I apply this as an edge highlight and where I feel it needed a reinforcement in the previous uh, for the previous color. And that's it for basically painting the, the actual model. But through an airbrush I applied green brown for the color on the base. And this is uh, in a minute followed by uh, drivers of Iraqi sand. And after this dry brush, I took the model outside for a dull coat. And uh, once that was dry, I used some dark sand weathering powder and I applied this over the base and the boots of the model. A little bit on the bottom side of the, of the pants. So after applying a tuft and placing the base edge, uh, this finishes up the model and here's the end result. So, I hope you liked this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe if you want to. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.